Myanmar's leader Aung San Suu Kyi launches a two-month election campaign in the capital Naypyidaw with a rather low-key event. Her original plan to visit her constituency had to be cancelled because of an increase in coronavirus cases. But she was in full campaign mode, jokingly telling journalists to cast a vote for her party. The upcoming elections are seen as a step towards Myanmar's transition from military rule, which ended in 2011 to full democracy. The military still wields enormous power. It's guaranteed 25% of the seats in parliament and retains control of three important portfolios. But the governing party, the National League for Democracy, is still expected to win by a comfortable majority. Aung San Suu Kyi remains popular at home, even though internationally her reputation has suffered. It seems that Aung San Suu Kyi and the National League of Democracy have not used the parliamentary majority that they gained to extend Myanmar's democracy. In fact, they've actually restricted the franchise of democracy to other minority groups and have also increased the targeting and persecution of journalists and also have become apologists for genocide, as we've seen earlier this year at the, I, at the International Court of Justice. Aung San Suu Kyi defended her government at the court, describing allegations of genocide as incomplete and misleading. In the, alternative. the Myanmar military carried out a crackdown on the Rohingya minority in Rakhine State in 2017, causing three quarters of a million Rohingya to escape to Bangladesh. There are also questions about how fair the upcoming election will be. For the community that is being excluded, uh, not only the Rohingya that have been that have been moved out of this area, uh, but many of the other Rakhine uh, sit residents and citizens in those areas are completely being cut out. And there are other fighting areas in the country that are also being excluded. And this goes to the issue of legitimacy. Uh, a lot of migrant workers, because of COVID-19, are not going to be allowed to vote. And these are, again, we're talking about millions of people that are being excluded, not small numbers. The Election Commission has said it will decide in October whether November's poll will go ahead in places where there's fighting between the Myanmar military and armed ethnic groups. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.